All right, guys. So Earfun finally released what a lot of you guys have been asking for, and that is the Earfun app. So now you're getting a lot of function on their earbuds that you weren't getting before, but they also released their most premium pair of earbuds as well, which is the pair we're gonna talk about today, and that is the Earfun Air Pro SV. Now this pair does come in at $89, although right now on their site, uh, they do have an early bird price uh, that's going until March 28th, where you can actually pick these up for only 58 bucks. And so we're gonna talk about a lot of the features that these have. We're gonna talk about the noise canceling, the sound, and what all comes inside the box. We're also gonna talk about Earfun's app, but we're gonna see if the Air Pro SVs are worth the $89 price tag and see if it's an actual steal coming in at 58 bucks. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the app. Again, I've seen it in the comments section. A lot of you guys have wanted Earfun to release an app. And with this app, it does definitely feel a little beta, like it's just new and there's not a whole lot of functions to it. But this allows Earfun to keep their earbuds updated. It does come with some pre-built EQ settings, but you can also EQ it yourself, which is a huge plus. And then really the only other thing that you can do is you can customize the controls. And I'm a huge fan of this because I'm just used to certain earbuds doing certain things. So the fact that you can switch them around and get them to control what you want is just really nice. Now, as far as the Air Pro SVs, the look of these are definitely different than other Earfun earbuds. Uh, it has a much more premium look. I really like the case on it. Uh, and the build of the case and the earbuds do have a nice aluminum feel. So it just is a much more premium build than the other Earfun earbuds that we've checked out. Now, as far as technology that's in these, they do have Bluetooth 5.2, and they also have a low latency gaming mode uh, that you can switch these into. And this allows you to watch movies or videos or play games without experiencing any kind of lag. And I think they did an excellent job with this. So this is definitely one of those pairs of earbuds that you could just use for anything. But one of the biggest features of this earbuds is the hybrid active noise canceling. It's using their Quiet Smart 2.0. There's a few different settings you can switch between. You do have the noise canceling mode. You could just turn it off and just listen to it as it is. And then it does have a transparency mode. But with the noise canceling, there is a wind reduction mode. Uh, so if you're gonna use these outdoors, it keeps it from having wind affect your audio. And the noise canceling is just incredible, especially on a pair that's under a hundred bucks. Now it's still not on the same level as the Sony or the Bose. Um, I feel for a while those are always going to be at the top, but to get the earphones noise canceling that's probably coming in at about 75% of what the Bose and the Sonys are doing, I think makes this a really good value just for noise canceling alone. And I also think they did an excellent job with the transparency mode. The mics just picked up everything around me very clearly. Uh, it does have a slightly digital sound, which is to be expected, but you can easily carry on a conversation without taking the earbuds out. So I just think they did a very good job with the transparency and the noise canceling mode overall. Now, as far as using these outdoors, they do come in with an IPX5 rating, which is kind of nice because most noise canceling earbuds top out at IPX4. So you're getting a little bit more protection than most other noise canceling earbuds. So you don't have to worry about rain. You don't have to worry if you sweat heavily or if they get splashed on, but still make sure that you don't submerge this pair into water. Now, as far as what all they've included inside the box, you do get three sets of silicone ear tips. You are getting a USB-C cable for charging, but a huge plus is this pair does have Qi wireless charging, so you don't really actually need to use the USB-C cable. You can just come in, drop this on any wireless charger, and it will start charging. But speaking of the charging, battery life is just okay on this pair. Now, I do think they had to sacrifice battery life to get the case and the earbuds as small as they did. But if you decide to use these with the active noise canceling turned off, you're gonna get around six hours on the earbuds with around 24 hours using the case. But if you decide to just use these with the noise canceling on all the time, you're only going to get around four and a half hours on the earbuds and around 18 hours using the case. So I think for most people that's gonna be completely fine. I don't know a lot of people that are using their earbuds more than four hours at a time, but we've definitely seen better battery life on other earbuds. But another huge plus is if you do happen to pick your earbuds up and they are dead, it does have a fast charge feature where a quick 10 minute charge will give you two hours 
of use. And I've said it in previous videos, this is a huge plus because I don't always remember to keep my earbuds charged. So when I'm headed out the door, it's nice to know I can charge them for 10 minutes and get that two hours of use. Now moving over to looking at the case and the earbuds themselves, like I said, these have a very unique design to them. And you can see that actually on the front of the case is where your USB-C port is located. And then right above that is your single indicator light. That way you can kind of see how much battery life is left on the case. Now, before we actually get to the earbuds themselves, you can see them through the case. You see these two aluminum stems right in the middle of the case. When you open it up, you can see that the earbuds sit in there very nicely. I really just like the design of these. Now, I will still stick to the fact that I prefer a normal pair of earbuds over the ones with the stems. But if you're going to do stems, I like that they do them this way. It has a squared off look, so it's not as obnoxious looking as other stem style earbuds but another huge plus is this pair does use touch controls and i'm happy to say that they give you control over everything i mean you have your play your pause your ability to skip your tracks forward you can go backwards you can turn your volume up and down you can switch it into that low latency gaming mode and then you can also switch it between the three different listening modes the noise canceling the noise canceling off or the ambient mode and again that's a huge plus that you can get all of those controls without actually having to open up the app. Now for you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls, you can tell that this is another area that they focused on because this pair has six microphones total that's doing a very good job of picking up my voice, but it's also doing a really good job of blocking out my surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is a mic test using the SVs, and I think they did a really good job with the mics here. I feel like it picks up my voice in an almost natural way. I mean, you can tell that it has a digital sound to it, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test for the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. And we're gonna talk about the sound the way that it is just straight out of the box. But do keep in mind, you can go within the app and just alter these any way that you want to. But the sound out of the box, I feel like is excellent. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna be completely happy with it because it does have that consumer U-shaped sound signature. But what they decided to do this time, which is a little bit different than their other earbuds, is they decided not to just throw it at you all at once. I mean, the bass does not have that thick rumble like some other Earfun earbuds that I've tested. They have it where it does have a punch, but it's a very quick punch. Uh, you're able to feel it, but it doesn't feel artificial. And what that's doing is it's keeping it from rolling over your mids and highs. Uh, the mids on these are definitely boosted slightly where it feels like the vocalist is kind of standing out in front of all the instruments. You can hear both male and female vocalists extremely fine no matter what genre you're listening to. And it also does a really good job with acoustic instruments. It has that clean sound. It also, again, just feels like everything is separated nicely. And on top of that, the treble on these also bring out a lot of detail, uh, but it keeps from being too harsh. Again, I, I think they're trying to dial it back just a little bit so they don't have to throw it all at you. But if you do want that bright treble or if you do want that rumble in the low end, these respond to EQing really nicely. So again, just go into the app, switch it to however you want them to sound, and they can be a bass heavy earbud, or they can be a bright sounding treble that can get harsh at times. Now, when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, this is definitely a fairly open sounding earbud. I feel like there is a lot of space in the audio. It feels like things are pretty well separated, and you can also hear the different layers in music. I, I think they just nailed it when it came to this. I had no issue with being able to tell where sounds are coming from. So my overall opinion is pretty simple. I think really the only thing I wish they would have done differently is have a little bit better battery life, but I will take the trade off to be able to get a smaller footprint with the case and the earbuds themselves. And on top of that, you're still getting incredible noise canceling that's fairly close to the big boys, which cost three times as much. You're getting Qi wireless charging, you're getting very good sounding microphones, and again, you're getting sound quality Quality that can just change to whatever you want it to change to. And I think being able to get that for under $100 easily makes this a pair that I would recommend. But again, right now being able to pick them up for $58 just kind of makes these a no brainer. But guys, that wraps up my video on the brand new Earfun Air Pro SVs. Thank you so much for checking out this video. 
Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.